Get in line for more skateboarding tricks, putting a sick into physics. Time to create some friction. So now we're going to talk a bit about friction. Anytime one surface moves over another, there's a force of friction. Friction is a force that always acts in the opposite direction to movement. Here, the force of friction is opposing the motion of the skateboard. We spend a whole lot of time battling with friction. Friction can be a surprisingly strong force. Try this next experiment for yourself. Fan the pages of two books together. I've got a challenge for you. I want to see if you can pull these two interleaved books apart. Oh, 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 is it? It's still not working, is it? No. <laughs> so why is it so hard to pull the books apart? Well, it's down to friction. Friction is caused by two things. At a microscopic level, the surfaces are uneven and therefore lock into one another. And also, the molecules of the paper are very slightly attracted to one another. When we're talking about two pages, it's very easy to pull them apart. But when you add up all the friction resulting from these 300 pages being on top of each other, it's a different story. The force of friction is useful to us in all kinds of ways. The parachute here is creating air resistance, a kind of friction. It opposes the downward movement of the space capsule, slowing it down and creating a smoother landing. It provides the force that keeps the tyres of this car on the road. Replace tarmac with ice and the tyres can no longer grip the surface due to reduced friction.